Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Superbase and the React. Today we are going to learn about the login and the register with the Superbase auth. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel and if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So basically in this series, we are going to learn about the sign in and the sign up with Superbase in React. Sign in and the sign up with the phone number, with the password, with the Superbase, with OTP verification, with the Superbase and the magic link with the help of the super base okay with passwordless authentication we can say we are going to learn with the react so this four or five videos will come up with the react super base right so please be with me thank you so let's get started so sign up and the sign in process we are going to make it okay so here we have the sign up right so we have to add the email we have the password then click on the sign up right so it will when i click on the sign up it will give you the email okay confirm sign up when i confirm here you can see that i'm logged in okay so here you can see that now i will do with here this is my email and whatever the password i have just sign out right now sign out now i'm going to log in this is my email and this is my password okay let's sign in okay sign in successfully okay here you can see that right so i'm signed in sign up and sign in is done if i go with the super base so here we have authentications databases okay let's go for the tables This is the different one. Authentication. So here you can see my email. Phone number I haven't put it. Email provider created right now. And this is your user ID. Okay, view user info. And this is all the details that we have. Right. So here we go with this one. Because email is not verified, not the phone number. So there's an email verification is not there. Only the sign up and the sign in right so all the records will come up here in the authentication section all the users list right let's dive into the code level okay so this is we have to create superbase client.js file so create client superbase url superbase anon key so this how to get this details so go to the project settings go to the api here we go with the project url and here we go with the anon key right so just copy and paste it over there Next, we have to go with the use auth.js file. So here we are using the use auth. So React, use state, use effect, create context, use context from the React. And this is a superbase client, which we require for the, for the session. So here we are checking if there is a session or not. If there is a no session, then um, we are returning that error fetching the console. That is error.message. If we get the session, then we are printing out the session with the data that we have. Okay, and here we are calling the initial session on the component mount, right? So here we go with this one. Listener for the auth state changes. When there is a state uh, change of the auth, then here we are set the user accordingly. Okay, then clean up the listener on the component mount. And here we are returning that auth context provider with the value user. Okay, then export it, right? Next, we have a auth.js file. So here we have the rendering part first we do the rendering so here we have the superbase auth with user session is there then uh, users session dot user dot email else not signed in okay if there is a no session then we are trying to get the email and the password field input fields right then the buttons that is sign up forgot sign in and the sign in with google if we have the session if we have the session then we are showing the button that is sign out okay and this is the rest of the code for the next video for the change password and everything then export the default auth okay then here we have go with the sign up so handle sign up function we have this one okay so here we have a superbase auth dot sign up with email and the password if error throw the error if console dot log that user signed up then with the user information alert that sign up successfully else there is something went wrong okay then we have a sign in 
with the sign in with password make sure the superbase.org dot sign in with password with email and the password if error then throw it if the user is signed in then make console that user information then set that user in the session alert that sign in successful else in the log console dot error error in signing with the error okay and the on the top of it here we have the react import and then we have the state okay so session email password so currently for here these are the three states that we are using in the next we are using the reset show password and the new password okay so here in the use effect we are calling the sobase auth dot get session to check that there is a session available for the current user or the not if not then message will come that error fetching the session and call this session right and handle sign up already done handle sign in already done okay so this is how the sign up and the sign in process will goes on there is a home screen okay so here we have the use auth so here we are checking with the welcome user dot email okay so here we go with here so this is that one uh, user with this one so this is home i think in the app.js file i think uh, if the user is there then uh, home otherwise navigate to login okay and then uh, slash log and i think in the login part right so here we are calling the auth one this session i think use auth is i think not call use auth is user is there okay then home screen otherwise navigate to the login depends upon to you you can manage accordingly right okay so here we go with the sign up and the sign in process with the super base with react okay and what the like index nothing else we have a auth provider use auth then we have a app then auth provider okay for the authentication part if there is a user session is there or not so every time it will check over here then it will go with the application then come over there okay so this is how we are able to do the sign up and the sign in process in the next video we will go with the sign in with google okay so thank you so much for watching this video have a great day and don't forget to like share and comment on my video have a nice day